For those looking to buy or sell Mad Ultimate Team Form, check out the Mud Store. So they went retro with the team of the week, man. We're going back into like what Madden 15, like where we get two of these sets as well as another one full of the gold player. It's it's pretty cool what they're doing right now. We get an offensive hero, defensive hero, and then we get the upgrade set as well, which gives us a guaranteed elite team of the week player, I believe, for this week. So the set right now obviously isn't worth it, considering that Crabtree's 12,000 coins, and I think the cheapest elite team of the week is gonna be this Tremaine Johnson. I think he's like 13,000 coins. So. You kind of hope you get Ezekiel Elliott, but at the same damn time, you probably are going to get Tremaine Johnson. But right now, these sets are not that bad, man. Like, Carlos Dunlap and Jimmy Graham are very affordable. Like, I'm thinking about saving this bundle for next week because we got a lot of elite players right now. Ezekiel Elliott right now is going for about 32,000 coins. And we also got with Zach Brown, Steve Smith. A lot of these cards aren't really going for that much. And especially once this weekend hits, these prices are going to be so cheap right now. By the way, both these sets do have the same amount of uh, same elite players in it. So you pretty much can pick offense or defense. So I'm going to go ahead and pull my bundle right now. Yeah, wish me luck, man. Wish me luck. Hopefully we get some good things out of this. Hopefully it's not a wasted of a $56. All right, let's go ahead and get to it, man. Let's go ahead and get to it. First bundle on the channel. It is October, which is pretty interesting as well. I usually only buy BCA bundles in October, but we're going to try this bad way. I'll save the rest of the points, and hopefully we get some good stuff out of these packs. Down in the comment section, well, if you guys pull these packs yourselves, let me know what you guys got. These things do guarantee one current Team of the Week player, as well as one from previous week. So I think the best bet to make coins, honestly, would be to save the packs. Like, it would be to save the packs. Save the packs until a later date and then pull them when they don't come out with these. Because they come out with these every single week, it makes no sense. But I think they don't keep these packs in rotation. So if you get guaranteed Team of the Week items for the next week and these toppers, these packs aren't in the game, that is the way you guys can make points. As a matter of fact, I may hold on to one of these bundles later on down the line until maybe next week and see if they don't bring that out because that could be a good way to make coins. Having early access Team of the Week content and before anybody else does, yeah, you can make a lot of coins doing that. So enough rambling. Let's put a topper first, man. Let's put a topper first. Get an elite player for this week. Steve Smith! All right, we get Zach Brown. Not bad at all, man. 27 salary cap elite. I did not know this guy was in the Buffalo Bill. I think his gold card is still on the Tennessee Titans. So this guy's 87 speed, 81 block shed. He is a TM. 87 hit power. Okay, I like this guy, man. Not bad at all. Block shed kind of leaves a lot to be desired, especially because... It's kind of weird, man. He's one of these hybrid guys that can do it all, but, I mean, better in coverage, obviously. So, we got our linebacker pool. Let's get into the rest of these packs, man. Let's get into the rest of these packs. Hope we some leak flashes out of these, man. I had a really fun week in pulling elite cards, and those things are taking away from me so fast. All right, so we get a Marcus Mariota right there who looked terrible Sunday, man. So did my Panthers. The Panthers got just, hey, I wanted the cuts. They got, they got destroyed, man. They got destroyed. A lot of nonsense took place that game, but they've been wickery. Could not guard Julio Jones again. Elite flash right here. All right, we get Tremaine Johnson. That's to be expected, man. These things probably be flying out the packs like crazy. But I think they're more elite team of the week cards in gold. There has to be, right? There has to be. So, all right, so we get a Landon Collins. Right? I need that guy. I accidentally clicked the Landon Collins into my giant set for the Janoris Jenkins. That kind of cost me the coins right there. We got them back, though. So, we got 14K right here. These packs might print out money. Like, I might need to save one of these packs for next week. Like, I might need to do that. We get a Vernon Butler right here. We get a Trey Flowers, who's our old Team of the Week content item right there. Okay. All right, we get a Robert Alfred, too, who's our current. And we get a Brent Grimes. So a lot of cornerbacks that pack. Let's keep fly through this one real quick. Any Elite Flash? Nope, we get nothing else out of that. Lamar Houston, who was, I think, Elite in previous Maddens. Not that good of a card, man. All right, so we get a Brian Beluga right tackle for the Green Bay Pack is what he's Elite set, man. I haven't pulled a bundle in a while. Man, let these elite flashes pop out. Paul P, Paul plus Lesney. See this guy real quick, man. Zone cover linebacker, 81 speed. Okay, okay. 73 zone, though. Woo. So if you do get zone coverage to plus three, he'll have 76 zone coverage. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about that. 
not going to be using that guy much. I can go ahead and pass him. Maybe get a Ryan Fitzpatrick. Yo, EA, can you just go ahead and put him in the Jets, please? Like, he should not be just a free agent. He's on the team right now. Update his card so I can put him in the jet set later down the line. All right, we get a Robert Alford there again. Yo, stop trolling me, man. I know we caught two picks off of Derek Carr. Yo, not Derek Carr. I'm sorry. Uh, Derek Anderson. Wrong, wrong car there. But, yeah, that's why he's a backup, man. That's why Derek Anderson's a backup. Eric Kendricks right here. We get a Michael Crabtree, who surprisingly got a gold card this week. Steve Smith and him had a battle, but I think Michael Crabtree won that battle, and he got a, he got a gold card this week. Yo, this Alfred guy. This Alfred guy, though. Like, he's gonna keep popping out of these packs. <laughs> Stop trolling, man. The Falcons came out and put a hurt on the Panthers, man. Slide through this next one right quick. Any elite flashes? Okay, Steve Smith. I kind of skipped over there. And we got John Kuhn as well. All right, so we got our receiver that we're gonna be using for like a week because he's not the greatest, man. Not the fastest. What's this guy stiff for? He should have high stiff for him and good run block as well. Come on, where's it at? All right, so 84 jumping, 72 trucking, 88 stiff. That shit should be 99. It should be high as hell. Man, he he balled, man. Dude's so old out here still killing it. So it seems like we're only getting the two Team of the Week items out of these packs. And a lot of free agents. Good Lord. All right, so badge packs will be flying my way pretty soon. So we pulled, like, what, five packs so far. Got two elites. We got three more to go. Big Benzin packs as well. Let's see if we can pop out of one of these ones. Or any other elite that's, like, not kind of guaranteed in a sense. Jordan Payton right there. We get a William Golston. Really good right in for a budget beast team. Good defensive tackle as well. Good block shit. That's all you really care about there. Josh Doxson. We get a Justin Tratu. Michael Crabtree again. Another Robert Alford who seems to be a pretty common card. He seems to be one of the common cards you're going to get out of pulling these packs. All right. We get a Jeremy Curley. Another Trey Flowers. Yo, there's a Carson Wentz that you could possibly pull, but nope. It's the same old, same old. All right. So maybe this might not have been the best Wait, this be my money. <laughs> a lot of the same cards, man. And it kind of sucks, too, because even though they do give you an upgrade set, you got to pull all four of those cards. It can't be wild cards. So it kind of makes it a little bit difficult there. Go to Bill Law here. We get 83 Jimmy Graham. And we get a Marcus Peters and another Michael Crabtree. So I think I'm going to go ahead and probably sell a lot of these Michael Crabtrees and Alfred and then maybe just go ahead and upgrade to Jimmy Graham or to the other guy as well. But, yeah, I think it might be in your best interest if you're going to buy this bundle to save it until later on down the line when they do not come out with this bundle again and make a lot of coins selling the cards so nobody can have access to them because I don't think odds of pulling Team of the Week high, like cons out of packs is, like, really good. Like, it is extremely hard. So I think it's better to go ahead and save this and pull it today. So, word of advice from your boy, Texas. All right, so right here, we got, what did we get? We got, what, three elites in total? Steve Smith and, of course, the Guaranteed. Yeah, we, so not, it wasn't the greatest bundle. It wasn't the greatest bundle at all, but, I mean, I'll take it. It could have been much worse. I could have pulled a bunch of gold players like I did. Like, Alfred, I could have pulled a bunch of Alfreds, man. All these guys, except for this one, he was guaranteed. All these, these two could have been Alfreds. So, I guess we're one card away from getting... Either Jimmy Graham or Carlos Dunlap. So down in the comment section below, who you guys think I should get on the team? Don't don't make any suggestions because I don't even know why I said that. I'm not going to get any of those guys. I'm going to sell these cards, make some coins, and then holler at you guys in the next video.